Peugeot is 2008, which is the smaller crossover vehicle available on the South African market, was facelifted not too long ago, and also they brought in the GT Line. GT Line means the three-cylinder 1.2-litre engine putting out 81 kilowatts and 240 newton meters of torque, which is a lot for a car of this size. GT Line also gives you a much higher spec level and gives you a lot more for your money. You can see very neat lines, nice mag wheels. A nice feature that I like on this car is the fact that when you lock the car, the mirrors do fold in electrically as well. Nice in parking areas, particularly in shopping centers these days. You come around to nice modern looking face of Peugeot, daytime running lights, and of course the large grille over there with the very prominent Peugeot. Overall, I think a very neat looking vehicle, very smart and certainly has all the features one wants from a small to medium crossover vehicle in the South African market. The interior is also quite something, so let's have a look there. Inside the Peugeot 2008, it's very typically French with a couple of quirky little bits and some slightly different bits, which are nice and interesting. You've got a very, very small steering wheel, flat bottom, nice and sporty. Got to get used to the tiny steering wheel, but it certainly is responsive and a very unusual looking dashboard, but it certainly is neat and quirky. And you get that red lighting at night, which is very, very interesting. You can see we've done 329 kilometers on this test and used seven liters per 100 kilometers. Now that's very much in normal city driving. So it's a very good indication of the kind of fuel economy you could expect with this car. Down over here, you'll see that there are buttons to switch off the eco mode, to switch off the rear park distance control, etc. And you also, of course, come across to the infotainment screen on the center, which just at the press of a button gives you all your options, full navigation on this vehicle, telephone, driving systems, etc. They all come up very, very neat, very interesting. Down to dual zone climate control, which operates in the vehicle. Again, nice to have, works nicely, very effectively. Down to almost an old school gear shift, not uh, the modern forward and back on automatics, but the six speed automatic gearbox with, of course, <coughs> simply clicking like that. And you can go into a manual override mode as well if you want to. Nice and easy, simple to use. This over here is one of the features of the 2008, and it's what Peugeot call their terrain response system. You can simply dial, it's on freeway at the moment, and you can switch out you can go into uneven ground, uh, sand, etc. So simply for different terrain responses and into a very unusual handbrake, isn't it? Parking brake. Just looks very, very different indeed. Over here is the button that shows, simply closes the cover for your nice big panoramic roof that is standard on this GT Line model and you simply close that at the touch of a button. Also has lighting across the sides for nighttime. Nice feature on the car over here on the door handles for example you've got the red striping and you've got this sort of feature and tone that runs through a lot of the car even on the upholstery you'll see the leather upholstery throughout with red stitching looking very neat and your dashboard with the almost carbon fiber type a look to it over there. The question of course comes down to what is the price for this vehicle and what price are you going to pay for a 2008 GT line with the standard six speed automatic gearbox? 349,900 is the answer to that. Which it's up to you, it's, it's different, it's got a lot of features. It comes with a three year maintenance uh, service plan. It comes with all the features you would expect from a car these days in this category. And it's very typically quirky French design and style. Uh, stop start system on the car as well. And uh, if you want my criticism of this car, I've got to say that the kicking in of the stop start system, which is a little bit jerky in my book and when it restarts and kicks back in, I found it a little bit of a jerk, but that is just something that I find, and uh, I find it with a lot of stop-start systems, so it's certainly not limited to this 2008. Beyond that, it's a very, very comfortable car. The ride is very comfortable, very smooth, runs beautifully on freeways, and that little three-cylinder 1.2 engine certainly is up to the job. 
Overall, it's a crowded market segment. There are lots of competitors, so I'm not going to name them all individually, but it would be up to you to check them all out, make your decisions. You get auto on headlights as well, auto wipers on a car, so it's got a lot of the top of the range features which are nice to have as well. It's up to you to make a decision. The French cars have always been that little bit different, that little bit quirky, but I think that little bit nice and goes back to my favorite saying of I love being that little bit different and in that sense I really like the Peugeot 2008. For Motor Matters, I'm Eleanor and I'll see you next time.